What's up, guys? My name is Cove, and uh, yeah, today we're uh, gonna do something new. Uh, I have a new idea for a series that I'm gonna try and do, and it's gonna be just like uh, my best game of the week. Uh, th this week it's gonna be two games because there's two just like really close to each other in um, damage and kills. So yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, two this week, and then but normally you're just gonna see one game of uh, my best games of the week. So uh, this first game is uh, top tier on Westfield against the in the chieftain against one enemy chieftain, one enemy FV two fifteen B. So obviously when you're on Westfield, you want to take this position, but really, I should have looked at my mini map sooner and noticed that the SU-130 was going to get shots on me, and played a little bit less aggressive on the hill. So, uh, many of you who don't check into the streams or anything, don't personally know me, uh, may not know that, uh, or don't follow Clan Wars at all. You may not know that um, the uh, minimum bid you needed to get to get the Chieftain through the uh, Bond Auction was a <laughs> staggeringly low 15.8 thousand Bonds. I think that's due to most people spending a lot of their Bonds recently. And uh, the lack of people actually completing the uh, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Um, the bid pass. Yes, 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 the bid pass that you had to build in order to actually have the ability to bid on any of the tanks up for auction. So, I was able to get a chieftain for my 20,000 bond bid, which is just under 20,000 bonds anyway. Uh, and, um,. You'll see in the post-game stats that I'm up to like nearly 4k bonds already and I still haven't even completed the uh, first division of rank, so. And, uh, I'm going to be able to kit out my chieftain for clan wars and all this, which is great. Uh, in this battle, I'm running, uh, I think, all standard equipment, actually. Uh, I'm running vents. Grammar V stab on uh, this build. For now, I might end up throwing a uh, turbo on instead of either V stab or Vince. Not sure yet. I just I've been playing with the turbo in uh, Clan Wars. There's a secondary Clan Wars loadout for most clans. That you wouldn't really want to run in pubs. That's not. It's not very good for pubs. So yeah. Or for you. Uh, for those of you who aren't from <laughs> North America, uh, random battles. Don't get the kill on the TS5 there. I don't remember not getting that kill, but it is what it is. And now that we've gotten the uh, enemy chieftain out of the game, we basically just. We just go to town on these tier 8s, they have nothing they can do to us, like, it's just free farm now. Poor mouse. Mighty mighty mouse. And I think I get one more shot of damage. Fire a shot on the move for no reason, and I could have easily aimed it. He bounces, because he's using the big gun and he's gonna miss and hit my turret. And I believe that is all of the damage I get from this game. But I do get some spotting here at the end, so I'll just leave it running for now. And then we will transition over into the next replay. So right, I was able to get uh, the Chieftain. I got the 3D style out of the fame store. And let's just look at this 3D style real quick. Look at it. It's quite nice. Quite quite like the 3D style for the Chieftain. It's one of the better 3D styles, I think. It doesn't just... It just looks like it's loaded 
up with stuff. It doesn't look like it's got, you know, rocket launchers and shit on it. It's just, you know, painted and loaded up for, uh, for battle. So, we're rushing up the hill trying to find some more damage, but I don't believe we're gonna get any. Out of this game. Well. Here we go. Nope. Okay. Well, I will see you guys in the next replay as I pose. Welcome back, guys. Oh my god, why does it all do this to me? We are back with a game in the QLN on highway. We are playing in a platoon of three, this time with Blues and Jim. And uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're gonna get into it. Straight into the city. Even Jim and the car is going straight into the city. He actually has a really good game also here. Me and him end up carrying this game for our team, which is really quite funny because of the tanks we are in. They are not particularly overpowered in any way whatsoever. In fact, Jim's tank is quite bad. Um, the Caro is probably one of the worst reward vehicles you can get, uh, with maybe the exception of the M60. Or the... No, no, just the M60. VKK is useful. 907 is useful. Uh, the 121B is like um, slightly better 140 basically. Or slightly better 430U. It's like a mix between the 430U and the 140, which is actually really good. I make a terrible misplay at the beginning of this game here. But I do set the 277 on fire with the first shot of the game, which is always fabulous. <laughs> He's not gonna burn to death. But Jim's blocking my shots, so I have to drive all the way forward, and then I get farmed on the side. There's one more shot with that shot. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We still have half our hit points. We're good. We're good. Just calm, calm, calm. Panic. No calm. Already up to 740 spotting and 1,000 damage with one shot or two shots fired, and uh, yeah, half of my hit points are gone. <laughs> I didn't. Before restarting this replay up, I did not uh, remember why I took that much damage there, but then I realized I could have just asked Jim to back up, and he uh, probably wouldn't have, but uh... <laughs> Next shot, we're gonna nail into the side of the Kronvangster, which is crazy, because if you've ever played uh, the 111 5A or the 111 QL, you would know that this gun is kind of garbage. This tank has a kind of a garbage gun. The rest of the tank's pretty good. It's got a great mobility. Um, pretty good DPM for a heavy tank. It's got uh, pretty good armor. Not great armor. Uh, albeit it's easier to angle. The E3 gets stuck on the, on the railroad tracks here, so he's not gonna be able to shoot me. I now have a damaged gun for the next 13 seconds, which sucks. And I bounce off his lower plate with the ground. That's always great. And he shoots me through a train. Never mind. He wasn't shooting me through a train. And I'm just looking for the shot. Because, yeah. The D3 was in a really awkward position there for me to find an actual good angle to fire on him. But. Ended up finding a shot thanks to the armor pen indicator thing, which was fun. I'm gonna mess with Jim, say hit your shots, because, uh, yeah. He doesn't know who I am. Uh, <laughs> and then we sniped the Leo, which is great, because, you know, this tank's not supposed to do that. Uh, Alright, it's two kills, 2,500 damage. 900 assisting damage and yeah I know these aren't the best games you've ever seen these are my best games from each week 
Uh, I would really like to show last week's best game, honestly, because I I just dominated a chieftain and a uh, 2790 in my super conk. But uh, yeah, that's not this week, so it wouldn't make sense to show that replay for this video. Looking back on this replay, I should have died any point in here. This is a really aggressive play. But this Leo can't pin me for whatever reason. I think the K91 is actually down below the ridge, which is interesting. I should have been dead at, at any of these points, but I'm not. So, uh, YOLO sometimes does work out after all. Half aim shot on the K91 still hits. Nice. I was getting incredibly lucky, I think, with my RNG in this game. Uh, now we only have to worry about the Leo, which is great, because he gets spotted, and he's not even looking at me, so aim, almost fully aimed. But I had to shoot before he shot at me, because he was turning his turret towards me, so then I was like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to shoot this. Yes, I just rammed a Death Star. Shove him out into the open, and then uh, Jim joins me because, uh, you know. YOLO. So, anyway, I will see you guys back in the garage for the post game stats. And welcome back, guys. We are back with the post game stats. First, the Westfield game against tier 8, admittedly. Uh, this is so far my top damage in the Chieftain, and top combined. Not my top kills, though, I don't think. Um, but anyway. He had a 5.5k uh, game with uh, extra 2,500 assistance on top of that, pretty much. Which brings our total combined damage up to 8,000. Which is uh, it's a pretty good game. Um, even achieved in tier 8, but I could have done more damage, played a little bit too passively, but could have played a different position than the than the, the main ridge on Westworld, but it is what it is. Obviously, this is the day that I got my chieftain. Um, but beat the next player by nearly a 1,000 damage. Only one, two, three, four, five players on my team to over 3k. The rest did under 1500. Uh, two uh, teammates did zero, but they had three. So, I mean, the enemy team was actually kind of garbage at the game. But, yeah, I'll take 8k in five minutes. That's great. Uh, no credits, obviously, because I'm... Uh, I didn't have two loadouts at this point. I think this was like my third game in this tank. Uh, the the hit pen ratio is is disgustingly bad, but um, that's what it is. I did get a confederate for this game, which is always fun and welcome. I don't know why I didn't get a high caliber for that. Yeah, I don't think I hit one of my teammates with a shot, but oh well. I did get a confederate though for damaging 10 out of the 15 vehicles, which is always fun. Uh, so yeah, not even two kilometers traveled, five minutes, 1300 base experience, and 8k combined. Get you a second class master match in the Chieftain because it's that broken. Uh, next game was on highway in the WZ111 QLIN. Uh, it was a slightly worse game, but I did get a high caliber out of it, so nearly 6,000 damage with nearly a 1,000 uh, spotted. Three kills. Kind of your average run-of-the-mill kind of tier 10. Um, high caliber. Um, obviously, we hit a lot more shots in the... Uh, in the Obviously more accurate uh, QLIN. Uh, obviously it's more accurate than the Chieftain. Chieftain totally doesn't have, or my Chieftain totally doesn't have 0.3 accuracy or anything. Um, 
uh, we traveled uh, a lot more distance in this game because we had to, you know, run around a circle and highway because you, cause it's just a garbage map. Used all three consumables in this game, which is always fun to lose 60,000 credits for no reason. But we did make credits in this one because I was playing in a platoon, so that's always fun. This is a much lower base because uh, got one less kill. And I didn't spot for a lot of my damage. Other players did. I just shot across the map. Uh, Jim ended up picking up a lot of damage and a lot of spotting. He actually beat me in this game total in total damage combined. So, yeah. But me and him, <laughs> carried. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about Luz because uh, he was kind of mad about it. So, yeah. And, yeah, and the rest of my team just kind of did okay. And some of them did very, very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. If you do less than 1,000 damage in tier 10, you might need to stop playing for the day. Anyway, uh, they had two 277s seven that did zero damage and a T100 LT that got uh, only 2600 spotting. So, yeah, that's always fun. You get one out of six shots, which is always fun. Love to play the Death Star. But, did get a second class out of this tank, which is weird because it was less than a thousand base. But, we got the tank sniper. We got the high caliber. And uh, a bunch of other random stuff. I believe this is Hand of God. Yes. <laughs> That's always fun. And yeah. So, with all that being said, I will be making a video sometime this week about how I would fix um, ranked to make it, I don't know, less toxic, I guess. To make it less, like, I don't know... I don't know how to put this, um, mental staking, I guess, this is how I'm going to put that. It, it doesn't take a toll on, on your mental health for the day, you know? Uh, I've actually a pretty good idea that I've been thinking about for the last week, and I think it could work fairly well. Uh, you'd play about the same amount of battles. Um, but it'd be more like an ELO kind of thing than the, um, than the division system, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, that'll do it for me today, guys. Uh, should be finishing ranked here in the next couple of days. So check into the sh live streams for that. Um, should be having a couple. I am on rank five of division one. I have five bonus battles left, which sucks because uh, I only got nine for the last one, but I have greatly improved on my garbage gameplay. Uh, ranked has become much better in the last few days. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.